This is the first time that uh, we're going to be uh, showing the game, and uh, it's nice to see people kind of exploring the world for the first time. Um, it's really nice to watch people sort of figure out and inch their way through it. Um, and it's really interesting for me personally because there are a bunch of strange ideas in there that I wasn't sure if they were actually going to work until uh, today. So uh, I'm very happy with it right now, yeah. We were sort of working on this game um, around the tail end of Sorcery. Um, so it made a lot of sense for us to try to build on the kind of things that we learned when making Sorcery with uh, Craig D. Adams and uh, Jim Guthrie. Um, we had this idea to make this um, single screen, very small scale, very, very difficult uh, uh, kind of adventure game. Um, and so the, the mood kind of came out of that. Uh, when we decided to make the game about a tiny little wanderer, um, the art direction sort of evolved out of that. Um, and at the same time, we just came off of sorcery, so we wanted to make something that had a different kind of feel to it. Um, and on the other side of uh, the studio, we were making Super Time Force, which is basically like the carbon opposite of this video game. Um, that being said, though, they're, they do kind of overlap a little bit because both games are very challenging. Um, and even though there are really tranquil moments in Below, once you get into the nitty gritty of the, the combat and dungeon crawling, it does get a little bit hairy. A big part of the game is uh, exploration. Um, and uh, so one of the things is that the game is a combination of procedurally generated areas uh, mixed with sort of like secret areas that you can find. And a big part of it is, is exploring the world and sort of figuring out what the world is trying to tell you, picking up on little breadcrumbs and following those through. Uh, inevitably, you're going to discover something and that leads to a, a different slice of, uh, you know, a piece of a narrative or a little bit of the history of the world, new items, new uh, weapons, things like that. Uh, it all kind of fits together and it's all held together by the randomly generated uh, areas. The world, uh, the island is actually persistent, so uh, the world that you arrive in is something that uh, you can visit every area as many times as you want. It's not like a linear game in any way. It's actually kind of like the exact opposite of a linear game. It kind of flows like a river into different areas. Um, and as you do explore, you do kind of find different items and learn different techniques and learn about the world. Um, and then you can use that to sort of make your way to new areas and figure out the little kind of ways to explore that are hidden within the world. When it's ready, it's ready, yeah. That's generally how we do things. Uh, we sort of, uh, we at Cappy, we try to sort of give our games uh, the room to, you know, to, to breathe, a little bit of, uh, let the games sort of tell us where they want to go, and that takes a little bit of time, uh, especially with uh, this kind of game where we're really trying to create um, a unique world to explore. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts uh, involved in this thing, and uh, it takes us a while to wrap our heads around the whole beast of the video game that we're making. One part of the part of below is uh, the sort of uh, survival aspect of it. Um, you play a very tiny, little, capable character with a with a very sort of extensive move set, um, but you're very fragile, and that is part of that's expressed in the art direction. You're a tiny little dude in a big, big, scary world, um, and part of the survival aspect of it is that you can only take one hit, um, and you begin to bleed and you're pretty much on a one-way trip out um, unless you really know what to do and that comes into play with the items like you can the little flora and fauna the creatures and plants things like that that live in the world are things that you kind of have to uh, learn about and and hunt and figure out how to use all that stuff that uh, for your advantage to like you know be able to survive longer and longer um, there is some combinations some uh, a little bit of light crafting in there um, it's not like an insanely crafting heavy game, uh, but just like everything that we're doing, it's it's like the below version of crafting. So it's small and, and contained and neat and yeah, but hopefully it'll be interesting. It is another part of uh, the exploration because you kind of start off not knowing anything about how anything works. So, you know, you eat a mushroom, you, you smoke some grass and uh, you got to figure it out. <laughs>